contact from Daniel Bryan. Ouch. Fine uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Ooh, what an up. And there's a quick kick. Look at that Triple H here, guys. He's the much larger of the two men, but Daniel Bryan's a great striker with his hands and feet. So one thing Triple H is going to have to adjust to is Bryan's quickness. And don't forget the advantage of the so-called six-man. That's the yes movement. But above all that is the fact that Daniel Bryan is in the ring week in and week out. Triple H hasn't been in the ring in a long, long time. Cole, you mentioned Triple H's time away from the ring being a factor. Let me tell you, when you get to the level of Triple H, there's no such thing as ring rust. The Cerebral Assassin's already marked the bullseye on Daniel Bryan, and that's Daniel's injured shoulder. Corey's talking about that same shoulder Triple H attempted to dismantle a couple of weeks ago when he pressed it between the post and a steel chair. Just par for the course when it comes to the authority style of corporal punishment. If you guys... He's got the shoulders down. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Triple H needs to find a way to shake the cobwebs off him. Oh, man. Triple H is just looking to beat down Daniel Bryan and win this match. He'd be smart to end this as soon as he can. Rest up and go on to the main event. But you guys had it all wrong talking about Occupy Raw. He gets the shoulder up in time. Not yet. That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. Just rake in the face. Oh, he turns it around. Drop kick delivered with precision. Triple H has had a reign of tyranny for quite a while in WWE. Some people think all his power and success are because he married well. Oh, shut up, Saxton. Don't you dare discredit Triple H. The reason Triple H has what he has is because of his dominance in the ring. That dominance has kept him at the top. Every Flavor of the Week superstar that's been thrown the King of Kings way has fallen to the throne. Set it up. Oh, with a knee. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Both of these men have so much to fight for tonight. Triple H looking to do what he believes is best for business and crush the yes movement in... Byron, Daniel Bryan has over 75,000 reasons sitting here tonight. Well, Daniel Bryan feels that he owes these people. It's all of these people that got him here. Tonight is the night for everyone that's been told they're not good enough, not strong enough. That they don't look the right way. This is their night. I just heard Stephanie McMahon yelling, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. More trash talking from the authority. Stephanie is just cheering on her husband. I don't know why you have to classify that as talking trash. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. He lets it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Triple H can't be enjoying this. Of course, Triple H and Stephanie have been a part of WWE for a very long time. They've seen a lot of flash in the pans, and they think the whole yes movement is just another fad the fans will stop caring about. It's easy to get the crowd's attention. Triple H setting it up. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. 
You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Nice. Shut it. There's a pin now. To expand a little further on this fad of the yes movement, the thing a lot of people fail to understand is Daniel Bryan and this yes movement are just a myth. They're a fallacy. A wave that can only last for so long. Well, this wave is made up of the WWE Universe, Corey, and Daniel Bryan is going to surf on it for as far as it'll take him. Possibly even the main event of WrestleMania. What do you know, Byron? You're scared of the kiddie pool. He's in big trouble. This could be huge. Oh, here we go. He's in full control now. Watch out here. Watch this here. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. A high-risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. This could be dangerous. Incoming. And the knee connects. The longer this fight. Look at this. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. Whoa, Triple H dodged that one. He's inflicting some serious pain here. You know when you take direct hits like that, it becomes hard to move. If you can't move, you can't win. Elbow drop. Perfectly executed. from here. Man, Triple H, what offense. Look at this. And he's able to get out. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. He's too quick for him there. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Boom! Oh, what an elbow. I don't know about you guys, but it looks to me like these superstars are on their last legs here. Oh boy, he is rolling. This might be it! Oh my! I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. Uh-oh, Brian looking for it. Got him at the S-lock. But can he follow up here? He's looking at it. Big there. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. He's trying to mangle his face here. The intensity of this match has been incredible. Oh, the European uppercut. Bet his joints will be aching after that.
He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Oh. Suicide dive! The game getting absolutely punished right now. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. Oh boy, he is rolling. One move after the other. It's devastating. Up and over with a suplex. Putting it all on the line. Look out! Oh, an elbow drop! Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, no! He goes for the cover. Two! Oh, somehow! Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Avoids trouble there. I don't want to know what that feels like. Big time takedown right there. This might just be it for him, Michael. Keep your eye on this one. Look at this. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. This is going to be big one way or another. dreams and desires of Daniel Bryan. Stephanie perhaps reminded Triple H that Daniel Bryan is just a B-plus player. The authority for so many years trying to hold Daniel Bryan down and now an opportunity tonight to end Daniel Bryan's dream here at WrestleMania. When will Daniel Bryan realize that he is downright overmatched right now? It's not in Daniel Bryan's DNA, Corey. He doesn't accept failure. Triple H dragging him to the middle of the ring, looking once again to put Bryan away with a second pedigree. Uh, and Daniel Bryan oh, able to reverse no. it. Bridge is on the cover. Oh. Triple H kicks oh. out. Triple H held on. And now once again, Triple H going for the pedigree on Bryan. Bryan trying to block it. Daniel Bryan showing signs of life. 
Another knee. Measured brutality from the cerebral assassin. As much as we talk about the, the heart and the desire of Daniel Bryan, you cannot discount the incredible experience of the game, Triple H. The in ring acumen of Triple H, second to none, as Daniel Bryan is about to find out once again. No! Bryan oh. caught him! Daniel Bryan with an opening! Bryan has an opportunity! Daniel Bryan misses one! Triple H, though. Bryan lands on his feet, backs into the corner. Oh, oh, he he there it is. Nowhere. The cover. Hook of the leg. He did it. Wow. Here is your winner, Daniel Bryan. One of the biggest upsets in WrestleMania history. Daniel Bryan has stunned the world. Did you not see the ramifications of what just happened? Now we have this guy, this everyday guy, Daniel Bryan in the WrestleMania main event. And New Orleans couldn't be happier about it, Corey. Yes! 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 Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, you've done something right. We may be in New Orleans tonight, but...